In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can multiply 22 times 15 using the area model. The area model is a great strategy to help you simplify a double digit multiplication problem. And our first step in doing that is to break apart our factors into tens and ones. 22 can be broken apart into 20 plus 2 and 15 into 10 plus 5. These numbers will be much easier to work with. Now we will go ahead and draw our rectangle for our area model representation below. Our next step will be to label the length and the width of our rectangle using our factors 22 and 15. I will start with 22 along the top as 20 plus 2. And on the side, I will write 15 shown with 10 plus 5. Now I will make lines at the plus signs to separate my area model into four sections. As many of us know, the top and bottom sides of a rectangle and the left and right sides of a rectangle are the same. So we can rewrite the bottom as 20 plus 2 and we can rewrite the right side as 10 plus 5 to match the left. Now we will move into finding each partial product, which is the area of each section of our area model. We will begin by looking at the highlighted green section, the top left corner. We need to recall that finding area requires us to multiply length times width. For our first green section, we have a length of 10 and a width of 20. So we will multiply 10 times 20 to find the area of the shaded region. Remember, when multiplying multiples of 10, you can multiply the base fact 1 times 2 and add two zeros for this problem. We will now move on to our pink shaded box, and we will again multiply our length times our width. In this case, that would be 10 times 2. 10 times 2 is fairly easy to do. I like to connect the corners to remind us of what we are doing inside of our rectangles. Moving on to the yellow section, we are again going to multiply the length times the width for the yellow section. That will be 5 times 20 in this case. 5 times 20 again is an easy number to work with. We can do 5 times 2 and add a zero. So we have 10 plus a zero is 100. And lastly, our corner box is five times two because it has a length of five and a width of two, and that'll equal 10. Now that we have completed multiplication, we are left with four answers that are called partial products. 200, 120, and 10 are called partial products because they are only part of our final product. Now we will move on to adding the four partial products together to end up with our final product for 22 times 15. Because we took the time to break apart our numbers into tens and ones, all of our partial products, like 200, are ending in zeros, which make them very easy to add up. You will see here that I am copying down each answer from each colored section to the right side of my model, and I am going to add these four partial products to get my final answer. Again, this step is fairly easy because I took the time to break apart my numbers into numbers that are easy to work with. Here's my final product of 330. There you go.